We got a New Jersey supermarket and retail roundup for you today that's a little bit different than the last couple months. It has something to do with this big thing that has uh, overcome the planet over the last few months. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another New Jersey supermarket and retail roundup. This is for June, and this is more of a retrospect. We're not talking about sales or what good things you can find here and there. This is sort of a, a fl like a flashback uh, to what has happened over the last couple months, I guess since March. Um, you know, the last uh, two months, if, if anybody watches my videos, which I, I can tell you that really nobody is because I get like 10 or 20 views. If I'm lucky, sometimes I get 500 views. I think I've gotten 2000 views on one of my videos where I fixed my dryer. Um, I'm going to do more of these helpful videos, by the way. Anyway, I have to say that, uh, like we've been living in a kind of a mini twilight zone here with this uh, this uh, virus. I'm not going to mention the name or anything. It's just a it's just a human human crisis we're going through right now. Whether it's a real crisis or manufactured crisis or a psychological crisis, I'm not going to get into that right now. But let me just uh, lay the foundation here. I'm perfectly willing to go to the supermarket with no mask. I have no problem with it. I, I, I kind of know what's going on. However, I have other people in my family that would l literally disown me and, and, and like go through legal um, actions to, to get me out of here if I went to the supermarket and bought things. So I've kind of played within the, the rules here because I want to kind of avoid problems. Um, so we, we buy things, you know, uh, ShopRite from home is one of the places we've gone um, pretty much solely and then there's other places we go like butchers in various local uh, municipalities around our living area. So I go to ShopRite, I've gone to ShopRite in PA and New Jersey and so on and so forth. And it's sometimes like one thing we've noticed is that it's next to impossible to get a slot depending on which shop right you want to um, order from. And there's very few shop rights if you like, depending on where you live in New Jersey, you may only have one shop right that will be willing to deliver to you. So you're like your odds of getting that, like I think it was eight o'clock PM. I figured out just by uh, trial and error, eight o'clock PM, uh, in our shop, right? was the time that new slots opened up and by eight Oh, 1 p.m. All slots were full, filled. I mean, I, I refreshed the uh, the uh, the web page like a monkey, you know, like hitting a banana, and, I go, and just it was the worst. Um, but I found that I can go to other shop rights for pickup, and like depending on what locale you were in. Uh, you might find some shop rights have, I guess, less customers because there's more competition. Who knows? But I've gone all the way out to like uh, Easton and Bethlehem and, and beyond um, in Pennsylvania. And, and they, everything was great. But, you know, I, I go to the, I, I went to, uh, I think, the shop right in Branchburg, New Jersey recently. And I, I took a few pictures you could see here. All these people walking in and out of the store with masks on and like, I don't know if you've read any of the stories about the size of this so-called uh, virus and the protection the so-called masks can give you. Apparently the virus is so much smaller than the mask can protect that it's just going to go right through the mask. And what bugs me most is this Surgeon General person said something so contradictory uh, on, on TV. I think it was back in um, April of uh, 2020. This individual said, wearing a mask will not prevent you from getting the coronavirus. However, wearing a mask 
can help you prevent other people from getting coronavirus. Let that sink in again. Now, rewind back to what I just said and let that sink in for a minute. Can you not realize how ridiculous that statement is? Wearing it doesn't keep you safe, but wearing it keeps others safe. Like, <laughs> when I saw that on live on a, on a stream we were watching, I, I laughed so hard. I'm like, what did this guy just say? He just contradicted himself. Like, what does the mask have? A, well, then turn your mask around. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. So I watch all these people, and like, I'm not, I will not wear a mask. I will not wear a mask. I have, I have some masks, but I'm never going to wear them unless someone puts a gun to my head and I have determined that I cannot overpower them and, and uh, take their gun away from them without them shooting me. Um, I'm never going to wear a mask. Uh, but I watch these people go in the store and they're wearing masks and they take them off. And then you look at the press. I don't know if you saw this recently, but the press wears their masks while the cameras are filming. When the cameras are off, they take them off. It's like, it, it's like an act, but whatever. It, it, it really is... Uh, I don't know if anybody, any insane human being can tolerate this kind of fear mongering for much longer because they're realizing that like, wait a minute, this is not really a big deal. It really is just a flu. Maybe it's a little bit of a more robust flu. Perhaps maybe in the fall and winter, we're all going to die. Who knows? But there's no bo body bags piling up. But I want to get back to this. Like the, the ordering online thing is, it has caused such a, a problem for us. Like we buy our stuff and you, f you try to figure out, like it's so much better to go shopping. You know, you know what you need. You can go two or three times a week, four times a week if you need to. But when you buy online, you typically buy a bigger order and you end up buying a little more than you need. And, and you never know, like especially with ShopRite, you never know because they say we can't guarantee that we're going to have this stuff. So let's say I ordered uh, six uh, Organic Valley milks and we got zero. Okay. So that makes you say, okay, well, next week I'm going to order three or four different brands of milk, two of each, just to make sure we get some. And then they give them all, they give you all. It's, it's like weird how it works. Because ShopRite obviously has a, has a little bit of an antiquated, like, I guess with supermarkets, you can't necessarily keep track of, there's 100,000 items in their inventory. And it, like, they have to track live in-person purchases and online purchases. And it's very difficult to keep track of inventory. So I understand why they don't have... Um, real-time inventory. Maybe one day in the future, they're, they're going to have a better algorithm that can track their inventory. But it, it's just like, I've placed a $400 order and we got $100. And then I, I said, okay, let's cover our bases. And I, I placed a $300 or $280 order and they, they fulfilled it almost 100%. And then we had so much extra stuff. I had like 900 stalks of romaine lettuce that a lot had to be either donated given to neighbors or thrown out because they went bad. So this has been like, like a little bit of a troubling situation. I'm, I'm rambling here and I don't really know what my point is, but this is my supermarket retail roundup. And for two or two months plus now, we've uh, kind of stayed away from everything. We haven't gone into any stores and done everything uh, curbside. I don't like this whole curbside thing, I think it's bizarre. I think it's unnecessary. I think it's social conditioning. Uh, I think herd immunity is important. I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. Um, we're in, when they say uncertain times and, and all this stuff, it's not because of what they say it is. It's because of what they are making happen with these weird rules and how people are following them. And I'm very happy to see that there's many um, areas in the country that are fighting back. 
they're, they're not wearing their masks and they are, um, they're, they're proving that they're just surviving perfectly. I, I just think fear, I, I, I've said this on many of my other web publications in the past, fear is the number one way to influence people. It always will be. Just think about it. Think about, just read your history books, the wars, the, the, the nuclear the holocaust, the fallout shelters, the, the uh, what was it, AIDS, and then they had uh, weapons of mass destruction. All these things that they've always tried to scare the populace um, in general. And it works every time because uh, those people that control the narrative and the medium of where how people get their information is is important. Uh, and I, it, it's kind of breaking down slowly with fragmented, uh, you know, internet, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, sources. I don't, I don't even know a better way to say it. There's uh, various news groups and message boards and stuff, but social media is probably something you don't want to engage in. I mean, they have private groups that aren't uh, moderated or uh, censored, but they're, those are very, they're very small in comparison to what uh, reach that the previous news organizations had. But that's it. I've rambled way too long, and I'm sure probably one or two people got to this point. But that's my uh, supermarket roundup. It's been bizarre. I can't wait till it goes back to normal. Um, but soon we're going to talk about some benefits that we have found from this whole lockdown that uh, will save us money. And if you listen to us, it'll save you money as well. Have a good week and hit the like and subscribe. And I, uh, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you.